Good morning, my soccer universe. You're looking at one hell of a happy loser, but more on that later. You, you saw the result. You saw the headline. Ajax is back. <laughs> but uh, before we get to the Real Madrid Ajax game that everyone is talking about, um, I want to first uh, very quickly Dortmund Tottenham, which yeah. The story is quickly told. First half, Dortmund knows they have to uh, make up a 3 0 deficit, chance after chance after chance after chance, but nothing. I mean, it was well played. They just, as Dortmund has been lately, they are not taking their chances. Or, you know, from what I saw in the highlights, yes, there were chances, and yes, there were shots on goal, and yes, uh, Yuris had to make some saves. But they were not all that many of them where I said this is now a 100% uh, real goal scoring opportunity, but maybe that's the point of the whole thing. Right after halftime, uh, I think Sissoko played a quick ball to Harry Kane, who has a, a clear path on goal and buries it. And that kills the time. There uh, was not much more happening. Dortmund didn't even get the equalizer. That probably they would have deserved, to be fair, but you know. Tottenham wins two games against Dortmund. And remember, uh, a month back, two months back, when Harry Kane got injured, we all we were talk, talking about, oh, how this tie is uh, shifting in Dortmund's favor. And then suddenly uh, it's the opposite, that Dortmund is regressing. And yeah, Tottenham was also not great. But you know, you get Harry Kane back. And that's that. But well, enough of that. So Dortmund, Dort, Dortmund is the first uh, team qualified for the next f uh, phase. Tottenham. Let me just. And the other one is a big surprise. Uh, what did I say after the first game uh, between Real Madrid and Ajax in Amsterdam? Ajax would have deserved more. They had clear chances in the first half, and right when. You know, with the first path where Real Madrid is actually a little bit getting uh, a better control, they make the goal, Ajax gets the equalizer and then Real Madrid gets the winner. Um, a game that Ajax didn't deserve to lose, for sure. Uh, probably they wouldn't even deserve to draw. This time around, and now we get to the happy loser part. Um, I thought this was such a routine performance by Real Madrid. Yes, Sergio Ramos got, suspend, uh, got his suspension um, and couldn't play, but I really thought, you know, 2-1 away. Yes, Real Madrid had a tough a string of results, <laughs> no doubt about that. Uh, but then on the other hand, against Barcelona, they didn't play all that bad. If you look at it, I think, especially in the cup tie, they were well in, in, in the game. The 3 0 was not uh, reflecting how things um, are between those two teams. So I really thought a lucky win, even, may, maybe even draw. I, honestly, I didn't give Ajax much of a chance. And that's why I decided I'm not going to watch the game. Um, I had a slide, but you know, I put the girls to bed at 8 o'clock and unfortunately my little one is not feeling all that well. That makes me, yeah, that kind of tempers my ha happiness about yesterday's result. I didn't watch it. I decided, okay, I'm not going to wa watch it. I might watch uh, Puerto Roma tonight. Not 100%. I just need to get more sleep. Um, and however it is, I mean, this day so I was not tossing and turning as much, but you know, I woke up way early because I wanted to see the result, uh, the results, and how things will go. So at yeah, quarter to six, I watched the highlights, and boy, I also have to say. Um, I really, really enjoy Ajax, but I said, well, the worst case scenario, at least for um, when I look at it all over, is a narrow Ajax win. 
that doesn't advance them because that would put Austria in trouble. I mean, any Ajax win would put Austria in trouble for the 11th spot and the fixed Champions League spot. But then, you know, I watched and yeah, Varane hit the post very early on. Uh, that could have gone in, but then Tadic, who had an amazing game, uh, puts a nice ball through Ziyech and he rounds and lobs it in a really, really nicely taken goal, make it 1-0 for Ajax in the seventh minute. And then Ajax is not having possession, but still dominating, and dominating quite some, honestly. Uh, really offensive-minded uh, soccer at its finest. Nice moves forward, really... Uh, I don't want to say dominating Real Madrid, but having chance after chance that you think uh, they could have really decided the game very, very, very early on. Um, they get the second goal. Again, Tadic. Spinorama plays a pass to Neres, who puts it in, into the net. 2 0 Real Madrid. 2 uh, 0 Ajax. And at that moment, you're thinking, okay, this might go somewhere. Um, of course, Real Madrid tried, but didn't seem very cohere coherent. Uh, big chance was Bale hitting the post again. So there are two posts for Real Madrid, and I think if any one of those go in, uh, it m this is where that game might, might, might have turned, but overall it wouldn't have been deserved. Ajax was the better team. The other thing is that Vinicius Jr., they really the only shining light as of late for Real Madrid, injured himself after getting a chance and I think the one thing with Vinicius Jr. I said it before um, as great as a player going forward he is he cannot make goals I mean it's to me this is un unbelievable the chances he is missing there is still something missing he might be the greatest assist provider uh, in the world but I think you in the end you've got to make goals sooner or later gotta say it like that. So Ajax takes a 2-0 halftime lead. Um, yes, a goal for Real Madrid would mean that Real Madrid uh, goes, uh, it, the game would go into overtime. But it was not to be. Tadic had another wonderful attacking move that actually there was a huge discussion afterwards whether the ball was out, uh, was out of play or not. In the end, Mauri decided to use in. Probably the right what I could tell, it didn't look like the ball was on the side. And so, yeah, um, the move over Van der Beek, putting it to Tadic, who buries it in the net from far out. Tadic had a game for the ages. Absolute stunning goal. Um, and at that point, we knew there's not going you know, to be overtime, over time and Real Madrid needs three goals. They got it relatively, relatively quickly through Asensio, who uh, replaced uh, Tadic, uh, who made it 1-3. Was there a chance for more? Not really, because two minutes later, Masichene gets a free kick uh, from far out and put it in a long corner. He said after the game, yes, he saw that Courtois is standing a little bit too close to the near uh, post, so he was aiming for that. But of course, you never know. He 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 was on the other side. Yes, he was aiming for that, and if no one touches, it should go in. But of course, you never know where that goes in. It went in. 4-1 Ajax, their first away win in the knockout stages of the Champions League since '97, when they won 3-2 in overtime at Atletico Madrid. I actually remember that one. Uh, quite well. That was a great game, but this was the Ajax that was a sinking ship. Now, is this a rising Ajax? I don't know. I am person. I personally fear that this is again Ajax will maybe maybe if the draw is right, uh, they could even make it to the um, semi-final. I just think that a lot of players will move on to bigger leagues. And yes, this is the Ajax model at the moment. Uh, maybe even the coach, you know, we're looking at a few teams uh, that might need a good coach. 
maybe he will go there. I don't think this will be successful. I mean, you gotta say that Ajax uh, this decade had actually kind of revamped itself and was dominant already. And this is just the best iteration of it. Uh, but it will be hard to sustain it. That's my fear and that's what makes me sad. Because I would wish nothing more that this team stays together. Maybe uh, can really develop something. But ain't gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen. Anyway, I am. Yes, it means Austria will lose its fixed spot for Champions League, and we have next year, and the year after, we won't have that. But I am beyond happy that Ajax took out Real Madrid. And let's talk about Real Madrid uh, very quickly. It reeks of arrogance. The whole season reeks of arrogance of Real Madrid. First of all, uh, do I remind you about Lopetegui and, you know, um, jeopardizing Spain's World Cup by getting him, then not even having the guts to hold on to him. Yes, it was horrible run of results, but I actually thought that Lopetegui at least would have maybe got something going. But, you know, Real Madrid was a single ship. He lost, he lost 50 goals in the Ronaldo. Uh, and you didn't really make up for that and then if the likes of Bale and so on do not show up um, That's one thing. I actually thought Santi Solari had turned things around, you know, uh, they had a pretty good uh, run against um, You know, especially when they beat Atletico Madrid and then they lose uh, against Getafe for uh, out of nowhere and I remember when the cup tie against Barcelona was well, announced, I mean, Real Madrid played well against Bar in Barcelona. That you really thought, yeah, uh, Real Madrid will be a tough out and will maybe even uh, play a role. And then suddenly, when they lost to Girona, that very broke down a little bit. And then in addition, you have this whole bail drama, which kind of tells you it's a fractured dressing room. Uh, Good players are not playing up to their speed, and then you have this absolute arrogance of Sergio Ramos. Yeah, I want to take this yellow card because I think we are through. No, you're not. Um, yeah, in a week, Real Madrid got rid of all the chances for a title. It will be a bleak season, and you know, Santi Solari will pay the price. Um, honestly, Yes, he probably uh, pulled the pulls, but even more troubling because you know he got rid of Isco. Um, he is not handling the bail situation all that well. So yeah, um, maybe that's something to look at. On the other side, he brought in Vinicius Junior. He brought in players from the youth and he kind of revamping Real Madrid. Uh, it would not be fair. Honestly, it would not be fair to fire him right now unless you have reason to believe that he's absolutely lost contact and you might even lose out on a Champions League spot which I think is really hard at this uh, moment in time. Uh, a, it is not his team, he did not build this team, he did not do anything with it uh, and you gotta see it out. I mean if I was Real Madrid I wouldn't, yeah let's see the season out, let's qualify for a Champions League, that's the bare minimum goal and then we'll take it from there and uh, get a new coach, have everything in place and uh, build a new team and probably sell a few players. I mean, Bill gone. I think Tony Kroos also, uh, I think since the World Cup, as great as a player he was, I think he lost a step. And I, I would sell him. Uh, Modric is overplayed and then you need to look at your uh, I, I still think although Benzema was was not that bad this season I still think Benzema is not a uh, Real Madrid caliber uh, leading the attacking line player well those are my thoughts again the draw will mean a whole lot for Ajax whether they have a chance and let's see who will advance I mean if Ajax plays Tottenham, or if Ajax play uh, Roma or Porto, whoever comes out of that tie, which I'm actually looking forward to, that could be an interesting one, although I think it will go Porto's way. I have this feeling. But yeah, 
if that happens, this Ajax team hung there with Bayern Munich. Yes, Bayern Munich was not that great in the fall, but they actually didn't play that badly in the Champions League. They hung in with Bayern Munich. They have eliminated the champions three time the three time champions in a row. Uh, this Ajax team is here to stay, absolutely, and looking forward to that uh, to watch more of Ajax and. Just as a addition to yesterday's video uh, that, 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 that I made, Ajax is not even in a good position of winning their own league. Have that in mind. How, uh, what actually PSV really got done in by the draw, because PSV is better than Ajax. They have absolutely dismantled them uh, earlier, I think it was in October. PSV is another great team from the Netherlands, so just have that, have, have that, that in mind. Maybe the Dutch league is coming back. I would be happy for that. Well, let me know if you watched any of the two games yesterday or any other other, other games for that matter uh, in the comments below. Would love to hear from you. Uh, let me think what you think about Ajax and Real Madrid going forward. Give me thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Scratch my channel if you want to see more of these and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.